You are listening to the Work From Home Lifestylist Podcast with your host, Christina M. Hooper, where I share practical and actionable strategies on how to create the work from home lifestyle you want to live. If you are ready to let go of the nine to five lifestyle, make sure to visit my website at www.christinamhooper.com and join my work from home lifestyle and Facebook community for exclusive trainings and resources. Without further ado, let's get into today's episode. Hey there, fabulous listeners. Welcome back to another episode of the Work From Lifestylist podcast. I'm your host, Christina M. Hooper, and today we're diving into a topic that every course creator dreams of, scaling your online course business for sustainable growth. If you are ready to learn how to turn your expertise into a work from home lifestyle without exchanging your time for money, make sure to visit my website, www.christinamhooper.com to grab your free copy of the eight steps to transform your skills into your dream work from home lifestyle. You can get it started today. It is packed with all the juicy details to make your course success a reality. All right, so we are talking about scaling your online course business for sustainable growth. I want to talk about two specific elements in particular that are crucial to scaling your course business. Let's think of these as your foundation, okay? Now, marketing is crucial for the growth of your online course business. To create a marketing plan that delivers results, you need to understand your target audience inside and out. Who are they? What are their pain points and desires? By identifying their needs, you can tailor your marketing message and strategies to resonate with them on a much deeper level. Now, one powerful marketing tactic for course creators is leveraging social media. Platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn offer immense opportunities to connect with your target audience and get to know them and their struggles and how you can tailor your message to speak directly to them. Starting out, your focus should not be posting what you think they need, but rather connecting with them to find out exactly what they need. That way, you are posting on social media and it will resonate with them. Now, another essential component of a results-driven marketing plan is content marketing. Once you know your audience and what they need, you can craft content that truly resonates with them by creating valuable blog posts, videos, podcasts. You can establish yourself as an authority in your niche and attract organic traffic to your website. To ensure your time is well spent, remember to optimize your content with relevant keywords and provide actionable insight that solves your audience's problem. Now, another key element to scaling your course business is creating a transformative course offer. Crafting a compelling value proportion is essential to attracting and converting students. Your course offer should not only meet the needs of your target audience, but also provide an exceptional transformative experience. What you will want to consider is your pricing and your unique selling points that not only sets your course apart from the competition, but places you as the expert. The key component to doing this is having transformative results instead of just information. When people want a solution to their problem, they want results, not tips. Think about it if you were looking for a recipe for your favorite delicious apple pie and you finally found it, but you realize you have the ingredients without the measurements. You would be lost trying to figure it out, right? You have the information, but not what you need to transform those ingredients into a delicious apple pie, the one that you love, right? That is just as true for your ideal audience. They are on the hunt for what they need and you need to be the one with the transformative course that will get them the solution they are looking for and they have been looking for. Now, once you have your irresistible transformative offer and social proof from testing it out on a few ideal clients, you can then go on to create a compelling sales funnel. 
Now, this will set your course business on autopilot, allowing you to focus on a more evergreen business model and reach more people at once. Now, utilizing strategies such as a sales page, a webinar, or hiring help for enrollment calls. Now, the key though is to analyze the data to identify areas where you can improve. Now, when you're creating a course for people to rave about and then leveraging a system that gets your message out there further to more people helps to scale your business to new levels, allowing for you to measure your results and have growth without sacrificing your time for money. Now, that wraps it up for another empowering episode of the Work From Home Lifestylist podcast. Remember, my incredible listeners, you have the power to scale your online course business for sustainable growth. Implement the strategies and insights shared in this episode to pave the way for long-term success. For additional resources and guidance on your course creation journey, make sure to visit my website at christinamhooper.com. Together, let's break through the barriers and build the Work From Home Lifestyle that you desire. Keep it shining entrepreneurs and coaches. Thank you.